Now, I just recently found out how to grow citrus the right way. Um, ever since I was a little kid, I used to try to take lemon seeds or orange seeds and stick them in some dirt. And, and uh, after a couple months of waiting and watering it, I, you know, I was a little kid. I was busy doing other stuff by that time and never had success growing uh, citrus from seeds. And um, I just recently uh, went on YouTube and found out how to grow citrus from seed. And um, I did that probably a, a couple weeks before um, before I went to that citrus expo about a month ago. And um, I found out how to do that, and I started growing tangerines from seed. Now, a little trick that even people there's even videos on YouTube where people just stick the seed in the dirt, and that's how you that's how you grow a citrus from from seed. Well, I'll, you know, well, anybody could have known that. You take the seed out and put it in some dirt, and you're gonna grow it. But there's actually something that makes it a lot easier. And I've got an orange here. Um, it started to go bad, so I was going to use this one for an example. And um, I had probably about maybe 25 different varieties of citrus that I that I wanted to grow from seed. And I already had little tangerines growing, so I had some some pretty good success with it. I hope this one's got some seeds in it. I can show you how to do it. It doesn't, doesn't look like it. it. must be a seedless variety, maybe. No, not in that one. Hmm, that's a bummer. Yeah, not in that one either, too. Now, that was kind of a bummer. I didn't get any uh, seeds out of this one. Uh, it must have been some type of seedless variety. And um, this one right here is one of the oranges I have left over from the Citrus Expo I went to. And uh, I showed that in one of my last videos that I did. But I wrote kumquat on here because it says it was in the kumquat section. And I didn't know exactly what type of kumquat it was. And it had two fruit on here. And I, I tried the other one. And it was really weird. It tasted like the trifoliata. It tasted like the wild orange that I tasted. And um, I thought that was weird. I was like, why were, they must have somehow, there must be a cross between a wild orange and a kumquat. So I went online. I looked it up. And there is. It's called a citrange quad. And a citrange is a cross between a tangerine and a wild citrus. Um, and this is a cross between a kumquat and a citrange. So it's a citrange quad. And it's got a bunch of seeds and it. it's got a funky taste, but um, knowing all the different types of things, kumquat's really cold hardy and so is the, the trifoliata, so is the citrange. And um, so this little, this little fruit right here will probably grow up to places that, uh, that don't get below 10 degrees which is, you know, Georgia, South Carolina, you know, uh, Louisiana, Alabama, that kind of thing. But here it is. Let's cut into it. Let's get this show on the road and see if there's some seeds in here. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of seeds. Now, now that you have your orange seed or citrus, you can do the same thing with either lemons, limes, grapefruit, pomelos, oranges, navels, any of that. Um, you want to take a little napkin and dry the seed off. Now, you could just take this seed and put it in the ground and something will grow from it. But it takes a long time. The, the, there's actually an outer shell around the actual seed itself that's real slimy and it's water, it's watertight. And the seed, actually, the, this coat has to rot off to allow water to get inside to the actual seed. So what you want to do is just kind of dry it off with a paper towel. Like that. And if you notice, there's like a little tip on it. There's a round end on the bottom, and it's got a little tip. Now you just take your fingernail, kind of push in a little bit on the top. And the skin starts to peel off. See? Now, once you get the first piece started, the whole rest of the skin will just come off really easily. And you notice that on the inside, here's the skin. There's a, a seed, and it's almost green. It looks like it's almost ready to start sprouting. And it's completely dry. It's actually really, really dry. And you've got this waxy, airtight, sticky kind of shell. Now, you just take these seeds 
and you don't just plant one it's a numbers game not all of them are going to sprout um, some of them might certain times uh, sprout better now a lot of people are wondering well I always heard that if you plant stuff from seed it doesn't produce the same exact fruit well that is that is true because in you know major growers what they do is they actually uh, they plant wild varieties like the wild trifoliata uh, citrus every other row in between their their commercial citrus and it actually pollinates it better you know these domesticated varieties of fruit that uh, you see at the grocery store they don't pollinate themselves as much it's kind of like the turkeys that they have that have all these really big breasts that you eat for uh, Thanksgiving you know they can't uh, they have so much they're way down so much in the front they can't reproduce so they actually have to do it artificially so but the funny thing is about citrus is tangerines if you grow tangerines from seed nine times out of ten they're gonna produce a true tangerine um, that's because the tangerine is actually a more wild version of citrus versus navel oranges and other stuff but I've heard you can actually grow um, you can take a kefir, a kefir lime and you might actually get a grapefruit from it so either way you're gonna grow some citrus I think it'd be kinda cool to grow something and no matter what you're gonna get some tasty citrus out of it now this as you can see it's kinda orange it's got it smells like an orange too but it's got a, it's got uh, it's got a different flavor it's got a different aftertaste it tastes a lot like a, a wild uh, a wild orange and I have some of those too I've tried now now that you have the seed you take the seed you put it inside a dry paper towel and just kind of fold it over and take a bunch of them um, I probably put maybe 10 or 15 sometimes in a paper towel you take a regular Ziploc bag put the seed down in there now you want to put water in here let the let the paper towel get completely wet and then drain out all just tip it up and let all the excess water drain out so just the the paper towel is the only thing that's got water in it. it's damp take it set it in the sun and wait and um, it takes a couple weeks for it to start germinating and to do it like this where you take the seed coat off you're, you're going to look at a sprout, you're going to have to look at a citrus sprouting within about a week or two versus a couple months if you just stick the seed in the ground. So it saves you a lot of time, you get higher germination, um, you don't get frustrated waiting for some stupid seed to grow and it's never going to, or it's going to take too long. So, so that's it. Add some water in there and I'm going to show you right now what I did. Now, if you look over here, I'll show you real quick. I have a bunch of live citrus growing and I have some little cases down like little little containers down there with some little seedlings growing in there too. Now other than that I've got a bunch of these Ziploc bags you can see right here all labeled with about 20 different types of citrus and they're all sprouting. I actually, I actually got a tangerine in here that I want to show you that's sprouting right now too. Now this is the next step, and you normally don't see a lot of YouTube videos on here with uh, the next step. What to do with it once it starts sprouting. Now if you look, the bag kind of blew up a little bit. I noticed just the other day that there were some roots coming out from this one right here. And it looks like there's a little leaf pushing it up. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. And what we need to do after this happens. Yep, there it is. Look at that. little uh, little leaf stem roots and then all the seed right there you can kind of see that so and this is only after about maybe two and a half weeks two and a half three weeks you've already got a little sprout with a little little thing on it now you want to take some dirt now um, get a little container you can take a cup a little Dixie cup or even one of those red solo cups and just fill it up with some really good dirt um, something that gets some good drainage you don't really want the water sitting in there too long and I've got one right here now just take your finger push it down in there now the water the the dirt's still kinda dry and take your little seedling 
So you know it's sitting in there. And just barely cover up the roots and the little seed itself. So that way just a little seedling sticking out. And then once I get all the water in here, I'm not going to water it from the top. I'm actually going to water it from the bottom. I'm going to put this in uh, the fish tank down here and let all the water soak up from the bottom. And that'll actually make the roots pull down. If I water it from the top, the roots might not go down deep. And uh, if I make them work, if I put the water down at the bottom of this little container, they'll, they'll grow better. They'll grow deeper and stronger. And if I forget to water it once in a while, uh, the roots aren't shallow. You know, they're pretty deep getting down the water at the bottom. So, so it won't start dying on me. So that's a little seedling. A little tangerine seedling. And I have some more to show you what the next step is. And after you've got them in here for about a week or two, they start getting big leaves and growing big. I'll show you what that looks like. I've actually got a couple of those. Alright. Alright. Now here's two more. As you can see, the leaves start getting a little bit bigger. It starts getting healthier, absorbing the sun. And I don't water this from above. I don't pour the water on the top. I put it in a, a fish tank or you could use a regular bowl and just water the bottom of the bowl and let the let the roots go down deep and soak the water from below. It'll uh It'll pull the water up. You know, the dirt will be nice and wet. You don't have to water it like that. And then here's another one that has longer and skinnier leaves than the one I just showed you. So this one's got some long skinny leaves and the other one had some big fat round ones. So, so that's it guys. That's how you grow uh, oranges from seed. Actually, all the way from fruit to a little seedling. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all your comments and support, too. Merry Christmas.